Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. A golf tee? Oh, are we going to play golf today? Well, no, not exactly. What we're going to do today... Or maybe we're going to play putt-putt golf. <laughs> well, that'd be fun, but we're not going to do that either. Well, or maybe we're going to do some golf tee artwork. Well, now, what we're going to do is golf tee artwork? What are you talking about? By pushing tees into styrofoam, you can make some very creative artwork that can become quite sought after and even valuable, like this little piece I've been working on. See? Oh, brother. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant and wonderful daughter, Sadie. Hello. And today, we're gonna have some fun learning about the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord? Why should we be scared of God? Isn't Jesus like our forever friend? Well, that's a good question. The Bible talks a lot about the fear of the Lord. I don't get it. I have lots of friends in life. But I'm not really scared of any of them. Well, that's good. And Jesus is our forever friend, but he's also God. And that means he's a little more powerful than our friends, a little more complex too. Oh, I don't mind. I'm pretty smart. Well, I know you are. But let me demonstrate what I'm talking about with a little object lesson I like to call down to a T. And all we're gonna need is one of these old fashioned pie shaped puzzles. I've seen those before. Well, if you don't have one, you can make one by simply cutting or drawing a triangle into a block of styrofoam or cardboard, and then placing golf tees into a bowling pin formation with five holes in the back row, then four, then three, then two, then one. And what you'll do is you'll take one tee and jump another. Then you'll remove the one you just jumped. You keep doing this over and over, but you can only jump another tee if it's right next to the one you're about to move. Your goal is to finish with just one T left on the board. If I remember correctly, it's not that easy. Oh man, this is tricky. I know it can be done. Would you like me to show you how to do it? Not really, but I know we don't have all day. Well, I'm confident that if you kept trying, you'd eventually figure it out. But. I'll go ahead and show everyone else how it's done, just so they know that it can be done. Here's a little disclaimer. Now, if you don't want to see the answer and you want to keep trying on your own, then just skip ahead past this part. But here's how it's done. Ta-da! I knew it could be done. So what's the point? Our friends are like a pie puzzle? Well, the point is, we tend to look at God like a simple little puzzle that we can eventually figure out. But he's way more complex than that. He is? Oh yeah. God's not like a solvable pie puzzle. He's more like a complex mathematical constant known as pie. The complex mathematical constant known as pie? What are you talking about? Well, we all know that if you take four and divide it by two, you get two. And if you take six and divide it by two, you get three. But if we take something like 22 and divide it by seven, you get a really long number. How long is this really long number? Take a look. Tell me what you get when you take 22 and divide it by seven. 3.1428571. Wow, that is a really long number. It takes up the whole calculator. And those are just the digits that could fit on the calculator. But the actual number itself is way longer. It never ends. Never ends? What are you talking about? Well, 22 divided by 7 
is just a simple way of showing an approximation of the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. What? It produces a number that never ends. 3.14159265359 is just the first 12 digits, but it keeps going with more and more numbers. At last count, it's been carried out to over 9 trillion decimal places. That's crazy! And there's no ending. And that's how much different God is than just one of our friends. He's a lot more complex. No wonder you like comparing God to Pi. He's infinite and just keeps going forever. Exactly. And he's a constant. Plus, he's transcendental, meaning that he cannot be a solution of an equation involving... Okay, now you're losing me, Einstein. Oh, sorry about that. And so we're supposed to be afraid of him? Well, fear is also a way of showing respect for his awesome power and his righteousness, and thankfully his mercy when it comes to our sins compared to his holiness. Let's take a look at today's verse that comes from Psalm 103.11, where it says, For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. So it's good to have a healthy fear of God? Definitely. Let me show you what I mean with a really big example. Come on. We're here in KZ, Illinois, also known as Big Things Small Town. And fortunately for us, it's also the home of the world's largest golf tee, see? Oh my word, that thing is huge! This giant golf tee was suggested by the local country club president as a way to encourage more interest in Casey's public golf course. They began working on it in July of 2012 by laminating lumber together to form the tee's rough shape. It took over five months to complete. Once the pieces of wood were secured, a chainsaw and sander were used to shape and smooth the surface. And now it stands as the world's largest golf tee. Wow, I'm afraid to ask, how big is it? Believe it or not, it's 30 feet tall and weighs 6,659 pounds. Wanna go climb to the top? No way. What's the matter, are you scared? Oh yeah, shouldn't I be? That's the point. We respect how amazing this tea is, but we also show fear or respect to its awesomeness. I think it's all starting to make sense. Having a healthy fear of the Lord is a beautiful thing. So Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned that having a fear of the Lord doesn't necessarily mean we need to be afraid of Him as much as it means we need to understand and respect his awesome power and righteousness and mercy. Exactly. And even though Jesus is a forever friend, God is a lot more complex than a simple puzzle. He's more like the Pi equation that never ends, yet remains constant as someone we can always count on. Very good. Now, all this talk about Pi and world records got me thinking about the world's largest Pi. Wow. Well, that's pretty big pie, Sadie, but I doubt that it would be considered the world's largest pie. Well, I wasn't actually trying to break the record for the world's largest pie ever baked. I wanted to break the record for the largest pie ever tossed in someone's face. Huh? See? Uh, there, aren't you proud of me? Uh, yeah. Congratulations. Oh, wait. We forgot to get an official referee. You want me to try it again? Uh, no. We'll see you around. Hey, today's episode, as well as our entire big series, is sponsored by Liberty Bible Academy, who have been at the forefront of Christian education in the Cincinnati area for over 30 years. Trust me, Sadie and I have been there and it's an amazing school with terrific leaders. You can check out their website and information below. And don't be surprised if you find that their school fits you like a T. And if your school, business, or organization happen to be interested in sponsoring a future episode or series of Family Moment videos, you can reach us at contact at familymomentsfun.com. We love our sponsors and highly recommend that you use their products or services. And we will see you around.